What's different from Indonesia, what's missing, unfortunately, and from Japan, from 150 years ago, I would say. For Japan, I know that's, a, that's asking a lot for 150 years. I would start with that. Myanmar doesn't have the space Japan had to test, to work this through, have a year of sending people overseas and work all this through in a very systematic uh, way. Um, they have peace, they have economic reform, political reform, they've opened up a, a, a Pandora's box, as you all know from the front pages, of, of social unrest and division in the country, not just by ethnicity, which we've all noticed because of the Civil War, but by religion, or at least with the Rohingya for race, or um, you know, it, it mixes all these things. They're dealing with all of these things at once. I mean, every, they, they've kind of put it in amber because of the military. Uh, 50 years, weren't able, they weren't able to deal with these fundamental questions. They also didn't, don't have a fundamental answer to the issue of identity. Who are we as a country? They've been fighting it out through military means for all this time. They've never actually come to a conclusion of what kind of country are we? What are the foundational principles? Um, equal justice under law for everybody or just for certain populations? Um, what is the, the distribution of power? How we deal with federalism? Used to be, I used to call federalism the F word there because you couldn't mention federalism. To them, that meant separatism. Uh, they haven't worked all this out, and they have to do that even as they're developing their economy, even as they're developing the basics of political reform and democracy. And the other thing they don't have because of military dictatorship are the institutions. Mm -hmm. they just, the military was the only functioning institution. They degraded every other institution in the country. So they don't have a government to do it with. They don't have a bureaucracy to do it with. Um, you have civil society and activists who have ideas, but they're trying to learn. Um, you have also a state counselor, a leader, who was isolated for, for 25 years and, her, you know, and, and, and not necessarily as worldly as we had hoped she might be in understanding how to be a, a politician for this moment and the leader that we would hope her to be. So they have a lot of... Um, I used to say you can't cut off your knees um, you know, and, and expect to run. And they've cut off their knees and be in a ditch. They, they dug a ditch for 50 years. They can't run very fast. And yet, and I'm not saying we shouldn't expect more out of them. We absolutely should. And I'm sure we'll get to that in Q&A. This is not an excuse for them, but it's an explanation of the fact that they're, they don't have necessarily, I think, some of the advantages that maybe the Meiji Japanese and the Indonesians had, even if there are some parallels.